I see what old chaps and chapped scheme chap and birdie here. Yes. Yes, but I was and I dare say we are now discussing here the rather exciting latest Minecraft news, including updates, Microsoft news, and more, you know. Most certainly, and there's rather a lot, so open your ears and stick around or you'll miss something. Yes, indeed. Now, now first, the idea, see, yes. of course, I understand there's a certain update now available, is there not, old chap? Well, yes, you see, uh, they had the 1.81 pre-release 1, as it were, yesterday. That's we, right. We, we actually covered that. Yes, we did. Um, yes, and where there's loads and loads of bug fixes and things like that. But because these bugs lead to more bugs, they've released another pre-release too. Now, oh. we should, yes, we should remember, because it's a pre-release, it means the big 181 is coming very soon. That's this right. pre-release designed, I think, to deal mainly with the other bugs that have been uncovered. Yes, indeed. To my understanding, Fails, they fixed a few more bugs, of which perhaps we might have seen in yesterday's 181 pre-release. So, if you're the type that enjoys bug fixes, go along and download that pre-2, as they call it, or pre-release 2. And also, of course, we can look forward to the full update of one. 8.1 soon, which of course brings with it a couple of rather interesting new features, along with a raft of bug fixes. Well, most certainly, but don't go and download it yet until you finish listening to the news or you won't know what's going on. Well, by George, I say. Now, also, I understand, regarding new releases of Minecraft, there is something on a certain handheld platform. Well, most certainly, a lot of people... But when we said that, when you said that, I'm sure lots of the chaps and chappies out there said, Oh, it's coming to 3DS! Well, of course, this has been discussed. But no, it is, however, coming to the other, well, if it could be such a word, platform, the PS Vita. I see. So we've actually got a gaming platform here, Fedios, a dedicated gaming platform, which is the PS Vita, which for the first time Minecraft is going to be grazing, although sadly, once again, Nintendo fans are left out in the, well, the cold, you know, really, shivering away, I say. Well, it's not going to the 3DS, but no. we're going to be on the Vita. Yes. So, um, yeah, there we are. You can play the, the game on the Vita as well as your phone, as well as everything else. And I your think. iPad and your yes. PS3 you and your PS4. You on the harp, yes, you play on the trombone, I think everything now. And your Amstrad and, you know, all this little yeah. thing. But there you are, videos. Now, also, money, money, money. just... <laughs> thank you, never. Just money, coming money, back money. to the PC version of the game, I do understand yes. there's a certain new feature which is rather handy for those who perhaps would like to change their name. Now, this feature is not yet readily available, sadly. However, we do indeed know and can tell you that they have worked in the Mojang backends, the ability to change their usernames, which of course many people are very much looking forward to. So username changes, right? Yes, people are interested in that, and they say this is coming soon, but but explain again what that is? Well, of course, what it means is in the back end of Mojang, they can have the system in place, or do have the system in place, to change the usernames of players, and that's rather fun, of course. Now, indeed, recently they made a bit of an update to the way player IDs were shown on servers, so nowadays they're organised by funny strings of numbers numbers and letters that say E569, PQ, yes. etc, instead of your username, but of course this in turn means you're going to be able to change your username videos a lot more freely, and we do hope soon you may be able to do that using the Minecraft profile page. Now of course we don't yet know how many times you're going to be able to change your name, and with what regularity. Yes, so hang on, does that mean if you signed up as, as Sid? And then, you know, now you think, oh, I wish I'd said Sydney. Can you can change to Sydney? Does that mean that? Well, yes, it means, of course, if Sydney is available, you know, either no. premium or unpremium, then you can change, but you won't be able to change your name to a name that someone else has already got. So you oh. can't have Birdie Jap, you know. No, sir, not the so. so, yes, you will be able to change your name. Well, that's rather useful for some people, I'm sure. But, of course, you know, I, I suppose by now there's so many numbers required after the name because, of course, all the good names are all gone. There's so many accounts, you know. Well, there certainly is, yes. Now, uh, moving on. Now, 1.9, the next update. Yes, let's talk 1.9. This is the hotly anticipated next update for Minecraft videos. And, of course, you have to bear in mind this is somewhere in the distance yet, but even so, some details or features planned for that update have been emerging. Most certainly. What happens after that, we don't know, because I suppose Bill will be completely in control by then. Yes, I'll buy But anyway, yeah. 1.9. Now, they're, apparently they're going to have in this customizable animation and entity models. Ah, this indeed is well worth discussing for Now, what this actually means is you're going to be able to put into the game, in Minecraft 1.9, your own custom animations for things like skeletons and zombies, etc. and so forth. But not just that, your own custom models for those things too. What? Your own models? Yes, yeah, so we are talking a very big new feature. Of course, at the moment, you can actually have custom models for things like your golden sword or your iron pickaxes etc and so forth, yes. but actually you're going to be able to bring external model files into Minecraft of other things with their own skeletal animations, bones etc and so forth, those of you who know animation might know what that means, and you can actually have these custom figures running around of your own creation, or perhaps those you've downloaded from the internet etc and so forth. Right, so will this be like a, a skin as it were over a, a skeleton that's already in the game sort of thing? Well it's sort of like that, but actually indeed goes beyond that, you can completely replace one of the 
the game's models with its very own new model, and also you can even give it its own set of custom animations. Now the beauty of this system is it's all done with resource packs. There's absolutely no mods needed at all. My goodness me, so therefore you could bring in any game character you fancy bringing in that you just like, one of your, you know, your fan character or whatever, bring it in and put it in the game. Yes, now there's one catch with this video, there's one little hitch of sorts. Think of all the birdie chaps I have. Yes, dear boy. You could have a whole army of them. There's one hitch with this, and that is, of course, that the animations for your models can be edited. In other words, you can edit existing things like climbing up and down a ladder, going for a swim, etc. and so forth, but you can't actually add any new animations. In other words, I don't know, celebrating, jumping for joy, etc. and so forth. So you can only work with what the game actually provides you. But I suppose, for layman's terms, or for the rest of us, that of course means we can be looking forward to custom models and custom animations of things that we can do in Minecraft very soon. So more bones could be added to skeletons, for example? Yes, they can, old boy, but of course you need to specify animation files for those, but that's a bit of technical talk, old chap. Now, just coming back once more to another feature which you can actually use right now, and it's rather handy. I understand this pertains to skins, old boy. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Apparently, now you will be or you can now change your, sorry, reset your skin ah. on the Minecraft profile page, which is a new thing that you couldn't do before. That's right. Have a picture of it. Yes, indeed. Now, of course, if you previously changed your skin away from either Alex or Steve, but all of a sudden you now think, oh, I actually want to go back to being Alex or Steve, of course, that was rather tough in the past, but there's now a button where you can actually click that and go straight back to default at the touch of a button. So if you decide you like Alex's threads better than your own, just dash along to your Minecraft profile page and hit that shiny reset button. Aha, so that's what you do, right. Yes, indeed, a rather handy new feature, and of course it's good of the chaps to keep adding things like this for us, and I do hope we're going to see that name-changing thing quite soon as well. Oh, most certainly. Now, I understand also we have a couple of things to report about the new owners of our favourite game, Minecraft, being, of course, Microsoft Ale Chap. We most certainly have, yes. Well, as we know, Microsoft has been very, very nice and kind to everyone regarding Minecraft and taking it over and saying all very happy. And indeed, national newspapers, as I think we all reported, have said, well, it's going to be OK. We're perfectly happy for YouTubers to continue to continue to do uh, videos, etc. and so forth. We're not going to have any problem with that. They didn't mention anything about the modding community or the server community, but there we are. Well, indeed, old boy, but they have nonetheless yeah, said that they love YouTube and they love think YouTube. all these videos are great yes. and they love the community, etc. and they so did. forth, yes. They did indeed. And so it all looks very nice. But of course, you see, Microsoft also have been known for being rather strict over things such as copyright and things like that uh, in the past. Yes, can anyone say Windows genuine advantage? Uh, well, um, yes, well, now, now Microsoft have been out, you see, getting a little bit upset with some people on YouTube, strangely. Have they? They have indeed, and they've been George. getting out rather large guns with rather large big sort of cannons and things and, 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 and charges in them, uh, taking people's videos down. What? From YouTube. Video taking indeed. down, are you sure? No, sir. Certainly. Now, before you jump up and say, oh my goodness, they started hitting the YouTubers, they lied. No, they haven't. Well, not the Minecraft YouTubers. Uh, these are people that have been putting up videos about Windows 7 and Windows 8. That's most strange, Elf. I wonder why. Well, most certainly. Now, you may say, well, what's that about? Is it, you know, are they, are they, are they trying to sell illegal Windows versions or something? No, not at all. They've been actually taking videos down of people that have put stuff up saying, well, look, this is how you do this task in Windows. Or oh. This is how you load 3.1 or whatever it might be. <laughs> I think that's a few years ago. Well, actually. yes, whatever but it might be. But one of the videos... Take them down. Yes, one of these videos was actually a how to download Windows 7, but that was in the old days of the beta when you could get the beta from the official Microsoft site. Now, it seems indeed this process of bashing people's videos for no reason with copyright strikes has actually gone so far as to even hit a Microsoft employee. Most certainly one of the Microsoft employees, presumably putting up there something that he had to say about Windows, trying to help someone, I, I, I presume that was the case. Yes. Uh, Microsoft came along with an extremely large hammer and belted his, chat, his, his video uh, for it. The ban hammer? Yes, he got one of those uh, unsmiley faces you get on YouTube. Yes, it is no laughing matter, really, is no. it, old chap? It's quite serious, I no, must say. No, it certainly. seems indeed Microsoft's system has been going into crazy haywire overdrive mode, just slinging out copyright strikes left, right and centre. And of course, understandably, it's left some large YouTubers absolutely reading it sent the social media a buzz and people just basically don't know what's going on or why they're doing it. Most certainly. So in the future, because everyone's thinking it, it I'm just saying what everyone's thinking, in the future, if there are things that might, Microsoft don't like that might be happening in the Minecraft... Oh, you didn't have to say be, that, old chap. Could be a year, could be two but years. Yeah. 
And so now we'll talk about the weather. We don't but like thinking about... what we're saying. We don't like going there, do we, old chap? No. That's, that's scary to we'll go there then. But we have to acknowledge the possibility for those. If they are a bit trigger-happy when it comes to taking videos down, who knows what could happen? We, we don't know. Think, we see. hope not. That's what I'll say. We hope not. We hope not, most, most certainly. But it's nevertheless an interesting point to talk about, considering they've just taken Minecraft earlier. Because they now own our favourite game, Minecraft. That's well, yeah. right, old chap. But I'm sure it's going to be okay. I'm sure it's all just a coincidence. Yes. And speaking of coincidences, mm. this is quite a big one for those. Yes. Minecraft is also, it has recently been confirmed by the Mojang chaps, mm. headed for Windows Phone. Oh yes, yes indeed. Apparently if you've got a Windows Phone, you see, um, well like I have, I've got a Windows Have you read it? I most certainly have. Is it yeah. good, old chap? Yeah, they are rather good, yes. Well, I see. And you don't get all those things that, that tra track you everywhere. Oh no, no, ones. no. Yeah, but it seems indeed, as Bertie was yes, saying... Yes, them out on Windows. Yes, that's right, they're going to bring these to the Windows Phone. Now someone jumped up and said, well hold on just a minute, that's just after Microsoft acquired Minecraft, so it must be linked. But the Mojang chap swore, they said, oh no, 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 we swear on oath that actually we were working on this all along. And now yes. of course... We don't know whether that project was on the back burner, perhaps, and was brought to the fore after the acquisition. Yes. Who knows, I say. But the fact remains it's coming to Windows Phone at some point in the future. Well, maybe it was a sort of a... Excuse me, uh, we've just bought this. Uh, yes. Is this on Windows Phone? I think so. Um, <laughs> well, uh, uh, we're just working on it now, actually. <laughs> yes. It won't take long. That could be oh, it. I thought so. Yeah. Now, I just anyway. have to say, Fedos, this yes. is quite an interesting point, I think. What happens to all the people who have Minecraft on the iOS, on the Android platforms, etc. and so forth, now that Minecraft, I mean Microsoft rather, run the show? Well, I don't know. I'm presuming they'll still let them have, you know, let it go are, on there. I presume they're going to yes. their profits, I thought. Are they going to give favour to their own Windows Phone platform, or they, are they going to treat all platforms equally? And I mean, what's more further to the point there, are we going to see updates released earlier on Windows Phone than perhaps on other platforms? Because certainly we've seen that with Xbox in the past. They've released things for Xbox earlier than other consoles, so feasibly we could see earlier updates on Windows Phone than on other devices, I think. Well, it's possible, and will there be features, etc., and so forth, that may only be on the Microsoft platforms and not elsewhere. Well, uh, that's a bit of a far stretch, I we think. We don't yeah. know. Well, we don't know. It could be the case. We don't know. This is very interesting. In the future, I mean. We'll have to wait yeah. and see where that goes, fails. Now, also, I understand, regarding one of uh, Mojang's other favourite products, it seems, indeed, we have some news on Lego. Uh, more Lego, I think. We've got Lego leg up to the neck, I think. <laughs> I think we're swinging the funny stuff. Everywhere. You can find them on the moon or wherever you go. Yes, there. I think. Uh, uh, as we previously reported, fellows, six new Lego sets were in the works, including such things as the cave and the end, etc., and so forth, and rather fun looking sets, and the mainstream news has now stumbled across this apparently, and it seems indeed they already have these Lego sets in the Mojang offices, so quite feasibly we might be seeing them on shelves near you quite soon. Well, most certainly, so if you like Lego sets, you can get another one to build. More Lego sets? Well, I've got my Legos, I haven't built it yet. You so never build your bally Lego not? set. The Lego sets are there to be built, old chap, you well, know that. Well, maybe, but never just haven't built mine. Well, that's strange. But in any case, there you are, Fails. Quite a lot of interesting Minecraft news lately. We've got Microsoft things going on. We've got the Vita edition, the Windows Phone edition in the works. We've got name changes, the ability to reset your skin, and, of course, the huge new feature of custom models in the next 1.9 update. This is an exciting yeah. time for Minecraft, you know. Well, most, I think the custom models, as you say, is a very exciting feature. That's a big feature. Yes, and most certainly it's going to bring a lot of difference to the game, no doubt. Out. Yes, I can't wait to see what the community is going to do with it. Well, as you said, yes, I think they're going to rather a lot with it. And let's hope that once Microsoft takes these things things over, um, these sort of things still carry on. I think a good idea for the first model they make for the custom model should be one of Bill Gates. Then everyone's happy, old chap. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Default. They'll placate think, him like that. Yes, I think they're going to do... You know they did Steve and then, and then the Alex? Yes. I think they're doing a, a Bill as well. Bill, that's right. It's, it's Bill, the Steve next, or Alex. It's but it defaults to Bill. It's, it's much higher chance of being Bill, that's it's right. It defaults to Bill and it's very hard to change it, Steve. Yes, I know that. Not really. But anyway, there we go. Yes. Yes. The latest Minecraft news. George, once again, I say, another exciting idea, I say. But it's more to see you then. Bye, George. Until then. <laughs>